Hello everyone here on YouTube, this is, well, Spanish Giovanni back here with a new video for you guys. And as you guys can see, I'm revealing my face for this one. And this should be a lot of fun. So, oh my god. Do I have a good video for you guys today? Do I have just the, the spiciest video for you guys to enjoy? So, for those of you that do not know who this psycho bitch is... Her name is Playmate Tessie, and she's got to be one of the most narcissistic, delusional fucking people I've ever seen in my entire life. And believe me, I've met a lot of them over my lifetime. From dumb fucking bronies to fucking delusional furries to everything under the sun. But when it comes to the delusional and narcissistic cake, this bitch fucking takes it. <laughs> But without any further ado, um, recently what happened is she appeared on Dr. Phil. Yay, Dr. fucking Phil. Woo. And, well, she tried to play it up like a fucking bunch of lies and shit. But before that, let's get on with this. I, I think I've kept you people long enough for this part, the intro. I'm famous for being beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, and talented. <laughs> Not even four fucking seconds in and we can already spot her first illusion. She says she's beautiful, famous, and talented. What talent do you fucking have besides live streaming to a bunch of fucking, like, stuck-in-mommy basement men? Are you fucking del- What? <laughs> And the look on her face is like, look how much fucking plastic she's probably had to put in her face. I cannot allow myself to smile. It does not work out for me. <laughs> she's just trying to seek Insta fame, you know, through social media, trying to go viral. Talent! Talent! I'm live 24-7. One night I fell asleep during my live stream. My dad decided that it would be a good idea to yell at my sister, completely stealing my spotlight. When I tell you to do something, I'm still the boss of you. <laughs> She's fucking sleeping and then her dad starts. <laughs> oh no, you're stealing my spotlight. Oh no. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me with this shit? Why would you live stream 24 hours a day? Are you out of your fucking mind? Of course, when you live stream 24 hours a day, something crazy is going to happen. That is not good for video, you dumbass. <sighs> what a dumb fucker. I literally woke up and people were just making fun of me. Oh, people are making fun of you. Well, we'll get to that little gem here in a little bit because the the thing about her is is she's very fucking hypocritical with this shit. Because to tell you the truth, she wants people to make bad or eh, to feel bad for making fun of her. Honey, and as I said, we'll get to that part. Because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it is pretty fucking bad. Like, it, it is one of the most worst things I think I've ever seen on the internet. Believe me, I've made fun of a lot of people for shit. But this one is just one of those cardinal sins. Not even I will make fun of someone for this. Let's... called Maya yelling at her to take this video down. I was extremely hot. I was coming unglued. She called the police. She called, oh my god. <laughs> she called the fucking cops. Wow, what a fucking dimwit. And live streamed that 911 call. I'm like seriously in fear for my life. He's threatening to kill me. He's threatening all this stuff. And it's like, 
I'm, I'm. What a lying sack of fucking shit! Are you fucking kidding me with this crap? Are you fucking kidding me? She's like. <laughs> She's caught bold face lying. She's caught bold face lying on fucking stream. Are you kidding me with the irony of this bitch? Really scared. I noticed that she was still live streaming from the hotel room that she went to that evening. She eventually did get on the phone with me. You are a narcissistic drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this dad already. <laughs> you are a narcissistic drama queen. And the look on her face is like, like, who would want to date this thing? Like, I swear to God, I fucking wouldn't. I'm sorry, I don't date people, well, that make fun of people for having, well, you'll get, you'll get to that part. We're getting there. Okay, you are. My dad was just totally lying about me to embarrass me. He even said I was dead to him. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. And I meant it then, and I mean it now. Tell this. Well, oh, believe me, him saying those words, I'm not gonna lie right now. <clears throat> I just, I hate it when Dr. Phil is just prolonging this part. He's just prolonging it. We will get to it. The minute you hear this shit, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to lose your collective minds. There are people out there that have seen the shit that she has said before, so they know what's coming. But for the people that have never seen this woman, you're about to see something that you're just going to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Day, I have not contacted my dad whatsoever. He's just a jealous hater. Okay. No, your dad is trying to make sure that you stop being a complete and utter moron and stop doing stupid decisions. Like, the fucking unmitigated gall of this bitch. Like, oh my word. I feel sorry for her dad in this situation. Holy fuck. Like, no wonder why he said she was dead to him. Like, to put up with that insufferable bitch? Holy fuck. Maya's all about trying to be insta-famous. My biggest fear is that my dad's going to use this narrative to make me look like a liar. Uh, okay, and here comes that part, but just a second before we get into that one. Um, Tessie, you do that well enough on your fucking own. He don't need, like, you do not need his fucking help, because if anything, we're here at the fucking clip where she is, go like, this is going to blow your fucking mind. The unmitigated goal of this bitch. One day, I was just doing my thing being famous, and I decided to just troll. How pathetic can you be? You're fat, you're ugly, you look deformed. I was live the entire time. I saw this girl with the ugliest hairline. It, it is a wig. Person. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my Yeah, you just fucking heard it right there. This is what I was talking about. She made fun of someone for having cancer. There is a lot of shit I will do on the internet. But making fun of someone f with cancer is got to be one of the lowest things you can make fun of someone for. I've made fun of people for being stupid, for being dumb, for making ir irrational, idiotic decisions. But I will never make fun of someone with cancer. That's just not right. And the fact that she does this bold face and says that it's a troll. What a lying motherfucking sack of shit. Bro, do you have cancer? And I was like... And, and the fact she's laughing as she's doing this is just fucking nothing short of disgusting. 
oh, you know, messed up hairline, wig, and oh, wig, cancer, you know? I just connected the dots. She wasn't actually wearing a wig. You are such. Do you have proof of that one, Miss Tessie? Because I can bet my bottom dollar that you fucking don't. Like, like, I like how she's sitting there saying that her father is going to spin the narrative when you're the one who's sitting here right now on fucking camera, no less, trying to be deceitful. You're trying to lie. And, and to tell you the truth, I fucking hate Dr. Phil and I hate this bitch too. Fuck them both. Fuck them both. The fact that Dr. Phil would give this woman a fucking platform is just irrefutably dumb. This woman does not need any more fucking publicity. If anything, she can use a whole lot less. So loser, you're wearing a wig because you're bald, huh? I thought everything I said was funny. I thought it was hilarious. Do you see me laughing, you stupid cunt? Do you really see me laughing? The only thing I've been doing this far is laughing at you for the idiotic, stupid fucking decisions that you have made. Please, for the love of God. You're not funny. Hell, I'm more funnier than you. Which is sad to say. I'll literally take all your cancer money. I'm going to sue you for all your f wigs and chemo. Despite what you... Like... What a crazy bitch. What a crazy bitch. I think nothing else could be said. I'm more than halfway through this video. You guys are pretty much seeing this bitch for what she really is. And I'm glad Dr. Phil took her like most idiotic moves and just comprised them down to a video of this size. That's one thing I'll thank Dr. Phil for. But other than that, fuck you. Jealous haters think, like, I have morals. I would never. Okay. You are so full of fucking shit that it's literally coming out of your fucking ears. We just saw you earlier fucking making fun of a person with cancer. What any moral, eh, what any moral fiber do you fucking have? Are you fucking kidding me, you delusional bitch? attack anybody who's like a minor visibly disabled i knew she didn't have cancer the video got like no and this is like the move she's trying to do she's trying to spin and deflect and get out of this when really in reality you're just a fucking bitch you're infamous you're infamous for being a bitch like that, that's pretty much the way that it's straightforward for you reposted people were saying things like you're gonna find me kill me these kids okay for the people that did send those comments i will say it she is not worth your fucking time she ain't worth it the fucking kill you want to know how you kill her you kill her reputation by not watching a damn thing she does anything she does just radio silence. You don't watch it. You don't talk about it. You don't do nothing. You just let her fucking rot in her own misery. Because in all fairness, Tessie, you've brought this on yourself. You have nobody else to blame but yourself for this shit. Cancer patients wanted an apology, so I gave them a f apology. I am sorry. This is not a fucking apology, you delusional fuckwad. Like, oh my fucking god! It, it's pretty. Can can I say this here on camera, ladies and gentlemen? It's pretty fucking sad, Tessie, when you make me look morally better. That's a fucking problem. When you make me, me of all fucking people, look morally better. You know you've jumped the fucking shark. Yes! I'm apologizing because, like, I really feel bad. I feel like it was a pretty good apology. 
what part of that was a good apology, you stupid bitch? Like, I, I will say it. This woman needs mental fucking evaluation. Like, she has no fucking remorse whatsoever. She has zero, none, nata, buckish, you name it. She does not have it. Like, I really want Dr. Phil to clear my name because I really didn't do anything. You got a lot of attention for a video that you didn't want to go out, but it went out, right? No, that's not true. What happened? And uh, that's not true. Like, please, Dr. Phil, just tear her world a fucking sunder. Please. Please. I'm fucking begging you. As much as I fucking hate you, I want you to tear this bitch to shreds. Do it! So what happened was I was just, just being famous and one of my viewers reposted the clip. When I was just being, quote unquote, famous. No, bitch, you're infamous. You're infamous for being an asshole. What do you mean you were just being famous? How do you be famous? Just, I guess just being like... Gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, talented. <laughs> beautiful, you are not. You look like you got fucking lip injections. Your fucking nose just... Like, is that even a fucking nose? You have more fucking makeup caked on you than Bozo the fucking clown. Get the fuck out of here. And just a celebrity, you know? So you <laughs> You famous no <laughs> Oh my god You're gorgeous beautiful beautiful amazing and amazing talented. talented and a celebrity Yeah and you know <laughs> Dr. Phil is doing everything to get his power. Not the fucking God. <laughs> Dr. Phil looks like he wants to jump out of his fucking chair and choke this bitch. <laughs> what? Like I can't just not be gorgeous, so I just don't really care, you know? And how do you <laughs> I wish these people <laughs> these people need to start fucking laughing a little bit because this is fucking delusional at its finest. How do you define famous? Me. I knew I was <laughs> What a narcissistic bitch. I mean anyone who's on the internet doing videos has a little bit of narcissism to them. But you here's here's us. Here's you. Pretty fucking sad. I was born famous, a superstar. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I like that two people are like that along with me. <laughs> if you no, but no, no, hold on. Seriously, I'm I'm trying to figure this out. So... <laughs> Phil, you're not being fucking serious. You want to laugh at her too? <laughs> oh, so I yeah. know. You're famous in whose other than yours? Whose eyes are you famous in? The globe. The globe. <laughs> You're not famous to me, bitch. Believe me, there's a there's a lot more celebrities out there that are more famous than you. <laughs> oh, this wow, the fucking delusions. Yeah. On YouTube, you have less than ten thousand subscribers. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Ooh, that's gotta fucking hurt. Ooh. Ooh. You're gonna need a little bit of ice for that burn. Oh, 
no, that's, uh, yeah, like that's, you know, it's a glitch. It's a glitch. <laughs> everybody no the reason why people left you you crazy freaking narcissistic drama queen crazy looney tune it's because you're a bitch because you're a bitch no no it's not a glitch it's the number of followers or no. subscribers you have <laughs> i like how dr phil's not playing along he's not playing her game oh man dr phil could you just could you stroke her ego just by a little? Just to, like, you know, just to enlighten her when you bring her down. It's like, why don't you just do this? Bring her up a little bit. And then when she thinks she's up there, you just yank the rope right out of under her. There you go. It would be far more funnier and far more humiliating. Like, I wish this man would do that more often. But no, he never will. No, Dr. Phil, it's 100% a glitch. It's... You know, um, it's supposed to be a capital B at the end, not a K at whatever. <laughs> you fucking billion, are you? <laughs> so you're basically saying, Tessie, that you have more subscribers than fucking PewDiePie. One of the most, like, how do you say it? He's the most subscribed channel on the fucking website. Are you fucking high right now? <laughs> And there's not even that many people watching YouTube. There's like, no, there's not like 10,000 billion watching YouTube. There's no fucking way. That would mean I'm subscribed to you, which I am not. And not, nor will I ever be. <sighs> what a delusional twat. I think I'm at 7 billion. Do you know what the world population is? Um. <laughs> Oops, there goes my mic. <laughs> oh my god. I like I don't keep up with you know the pores really. <laughs> so <laughs> he asked you a question and you just you you go full derpy Pikachu throughout that question. You did everything you could to dodge that question. Why aren't you answering him? Hmm. Is it because you're... Oh, what's the word? Give me a second here, ladies and gentlemen. I got to think of the word. Oh, lying. I just don't. Do you have a story or a question for me? Why didn't you go harder? But... With that one said, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you all enjoyed. Holy fucking shit, this bitch is fucking nuttier than a fucking fruit basket. And I do hope you all enjoyed. And with that one said, I'm out. Thank you all for watching.